Detailing Kitchen. At this stage, furniture and other final details can be added to complete the kitchen. In the main floor tab, turn on the visibility for the Furniture layer and set it as the active layer. First, a table and chairs will be added to the eating area. Select Draw, Symbol. From one of the manufacturer furniture libraries, select a table and then click to add it to the eating area. Next, select a chair symbol and click OK. Add the chair in the top left corner of the table. Select Move, Copy, and click the chair that was just added. Move the cursor to the right and click to add a second chair next to the first. In the Copy menu, select Multiple Placement and add a third chair on the same side of the table. Next, select Move, Mirror, and form an expanding box around the three chairs. Enable Cursor Snap and locate the center point on the left edge of the table. Draw a horizontal line across the table and click. The three chair symbols are added to the other side of the table. Select the 3D Model tab and review the placement of the table and chairs. Return to the main floor plan and open the Symbols Library again. Find a bar stool symbol to add to the kitchen island. Use the copy command to place additional stools around the kitchen island. Select the 3D Model tab and perform another surface edit on one of the stools. Set the metalness to 40 and click OK. Next, shelves can be added between the tall cabinets. Return to the main floor plan and select Draw, Rod and Shelf. With Snap enabled, draw a line in the space to receive the rod and shelf. Once the rod and shelf has been added, select the 3D Model tab and edit the shelf. Disable the rod and enter a depth of 9 inches and a thickness of 1.5 inches. Enter an offset of 4 feet and 6 inches and a spacing of 1 foot and 3 inches. Set the number of shelves to 3 and click OK. As with any surface in 3D, the texture and color of the shelves can be edited to suit the design as necessary. Additional furniture and other symbols like place settings can be included until the kitchen and eating area appear as desired. With the kitchen details finalized, path tracing can now be applied to create photorealistic 3D images of the kitchen. Position the camera to view the full kitchen area and select Options, Mode Options. In the Lighting tab, enable Path Tracing and set the number of passes to 10,000. Click OK and regenerate the 3D model.